In this video, I'm going to show you how to score your wood or cut a line around the right and the left sides of your box. And the goal in this is to make sure that none of your wood blows out when you cut these dovetails. So if you look closely here on this corner, when this was cut, the bit came through here and this end piece broke off and we want to keep our corners nice and clean like this. And so the way that we do that is we cut the wood this direction so that when that wood breaks off, it breaks off clean right along where we cut it. So your end goal should look like this today it should be a line that goes around the right side and the left side on both sides. So this right side here is already done. You can see it's cut all the way on this edge. So where do we cut this is the question. Well, if you look at this one that's already been cut here, if we measure the length of this finger here, Already did. So you can see here, it measures to here, which is three eighths of an inch. So I'm going to go over this again in a second when I do the left side here, so that you know also how to do it. So I'm going to move this other stuff out of the way. I do my left side. My first step is to take this ruler here. This is called the square because this is a square corner here. It measures 90 degrees. And I'm going to find the side here that measures from zero up to one. So if you flip it over, this one measures the opposite way. I want to measure this side up to one. And I'm going to take this black edge and put it up against this edge. And let me zoom in here so you can see. I'm going to find three eighths of an inch. So here's zero, there's one eighth, there's two eighths, and there's three eighths. So I'm going to, as carefully as I can with a sharp pencil, I'm going to put a mark right there at 3 eighths of an inch. So that's 3 eighths right there. That's going to tell me where I'm going to make my cuts. So now I'm going to turn this square like this so that I can hold it right here and use this as a straight edge. So notice my hand position, my thumbs here. I'm squeezing this side of the square against this edge here. This should be exactly 90 degrees. And I got my 3 eighths of an inch mark right here. So now I'm gonna very carefully get my blade out of my utility knife. And notice I have my finger here so I can press. I'm gonna make a cut right along this line here. So I'm gonna do it a couple of times so it gets a little bit deep. All right, so now you can see I have that mark cut. Like I said, this was three eighths of an inch from here to the edge. And then I'm going to continue this around. Instead of measuring every side, what I can do now is I can take my square and I can line it up right there. You can see with where I made that cut and I hold it very carefully and I make that cut. I'll do it a few times. Make sure it's scored in deep. And then I'm going to move my square to this edge and same thing. I'm going to line it up right here with that edge, should be 3 eighths of an inch. Very carefully, I'm making sure I don't cut myself, that I'm not cutting into my fingers. And then this final one, it should line up here with the original one that I made. So I line that up as carefully as I can. Take your time, do it right. I do that about three times. So if you look at the end result here, I have that marked all the way around that side. So you do this to four ends. You do it on the left side twice, so I'd still need to do this side, and you do it on the right side. You don't need to do it on the front and the back. These get cut differently. They get cut inside like this, and this grain should be okay without needing to make a cut. So you only do it to the left and the right sides. 